Pyro. Level 7 upgrade. Hey guys, Tristan here, and today we have another upgrade for Pyro. Today I'll be installing the RPM rear bumper. I have the front, but not the rear. And this was donated to me by my friend Coyote0976. Thanks a ton, man. First, we have to remove the rear bumper, and it is held down with four screws. Two on this side, and two on this side. Alright, with those four screws removed, the rear bumper comes right on off. Now we can bring out the RPM rear bumper. Alright, first up, we need to get out of the packaging. First, we have to pull the tab off, then pull out the bumper itself, the mounts, the instructions, hardware, stickers, and packaging. Alright, for alright. Now we're gonna to need to assemble the rear bumper. First off, we just gotta snap these off, and if you want to, you can easily just take a file or some sandpaper and uh, clean up this little bit that comes from the piece that holds it together. But if you not don't want to, it, it, you won't really see it. Next, you're gonna to want to look on the arms, and they usually ah, there they are. Say which side of the car it is for, such as this one has an R, which you can't really see. There we go. So. First up, we're going to have to take it, figure out what side's which, so right, left, and then with this orientation, take the bumper and then line up with the two screws, or two holes on both sides and then screw down the screws that they have provided you with. Alright guys, now we have the rear bumper now assembled we can compare it to the Traxxas bumper now first off you guys can definitely see there is a major design difference between the two as you guys can see the, the back has a lot more area the supports are seem to be more supported as well as a lot of extra holes for extra kind of mounts like the Rear tire rack or mud flaps, kind of like what I have on Monster, but I won't be doing the rear tire rack on this one because, well, it actually the rear tire rack actually does weigh the rear end down a lot. It really does look cool, but when you're going for a lot of stuff, it's not the best upgrade. It's a performance, and I really do like it. It helps with jumping because of the. It helps with the diving. It does add more weight in the rear, but if you're not looking for added weight in the back, I would not suggest that upgrade. But um, another good thing is, well, it's made of the RPM plastic. Like I've always said, you can't beat RPM. I mean, of course, there might be some parts here and there where RPM does not have good, but I've never run into one. So without further ado, let's get this installed. Alright, to install a rear bumper, it's basically just like what we did before. First, we take the rear bumper, line it up with the holes on the bumper mount, and then use the screws that RPM had provided you, and screw down the four screws. Two on this side, and the exact same on the other side. Here is before. And here is after, guys. Check it out. Gotta say, this RC is looking awesome. Kind of sucks that she still doesn't have a body, but like I said in the update video, I do have one coming. Um, it's, I, I honestly, guys, freaking did not think I was going to get the RPM bumpers for this RC. But you know what? I have them now. <laughs> uh... Like, of course, the RPM bumper is a lot, in my opinion, a lot better than the stock one. Uh, you would 
does not have as many supports in the back right between the two but with the RPM bumper I think I don't have much about that to worry about uh, there's of course it's a lot bigger but I the one thing is that's bugging me right now is because of the bumper mount not being properly supported kinda moves it around too much but that's just because of the broken mount uh, other than that I uh, I really do love these bumpers uh, I've never broken a rear one before but with the rear uh, with an RPM one you'll not guarantee you'll never break one I gotta say Kyle thanks a ton for this awesome upgrade and that was Pyro's level 7 upgrade